What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video, and we're about to check out Six Nine um, live stream that he had on Instagram yesterday. Uh, for those who don't know, me and Doug, we already checked out uh, his official music video he dropped yesterday as well. Gooba, we checked out the track, and uh, I think you guys will probably enjoy our reaction, man. We we was having fun with the video, man. We was just joking around, you know, just enjoying the video for what it was you feel me so um i want to give my thoughts and opinions on this now i already saw the live yesterday i actually watched it on instagram or whatnot but i want to kind of start a discussion for those who haven't seen the live i want to kind of start a discussion with you guys on the channel man i'm gonna kind of basically just break down what he's talking about do i agree with it do i disagree with it and just give my thoughts and opinions on it so we're gonna check it out, man. Six nine, epic troll, bro. <laughs> epic troll. Let's let's get into it. While, while I play Gooba, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Rachel, come 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 take these chains off. These shit's heavy as fuck. Right here. Got the the light flex. I'm gonna get back to this. Hold on. Just a light flex. Let me take all this jewelry off. I don't I don't give my old jewelry back to get new jewelry. This is a half a million dollars, half a million. Look at the diamonds in them teeth. And nobody got this watch. The well, flex. I think like two people got it. The but flex got is this strong watch, with this one. Beef. Me and you are not in the same bracket at all. If you don't got this watch. Apparently, uh, Meek Mill had said something right before he went live that he needed to apologize for pretty much snitching. So um, I'm thinking he's also kind of sending shots at Meek Mill as well because um, pretty much Meek Mill is like, yo, you you a snitch. You feel me? You out here, you know, you were snitching or whatever. And he's he's been had that same sentiment even when um, when um, when the case was going on and everybody found out that he was co uh, cooperating. Meek Mill has been voicing his opinion about him being a snitch and how he's just not rocking with it. So he said something and yeah. You know, he's definitely, he put on the jewelry, the extra watches. He don't even need four watches, but he got them on. He, he flexing. He's flexing. You know, he's basically like, yo, I can't beef with you. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't even got the same watch as me, bro. We not in the same bracket. That's that's how he feels. Right here, this watch right here. This watch, over a half a million. Why? We can't be. I broke the YouTube. I'm at five million views in one hour. Y'all can't even get one. No lie. Uh... The video was, I think it was when we recorded the actual, uh, our reaction to the track. I think it was at 15 million in a couple hours. Like, that's, that's a lot of views in a couple hours, man. Like, that's that's insane. It had over a million likes in just a couple hours. That sh shit was ridiculous. Like, it was, YouTube was having a hard time keeping up with the comments and the likes and the view count. So, 100,000 views. Listen, listen, we can't beef. There's no beef. I'm the king. Y'all know this. <laughs> listen, you know the legendary shit that I be talking about? You know why people so mad? Because they thought it was over for me. They counted me out. Oh, yo, you, yo, you rad it, it's over for you. Y'all could never, y'all could never cooperate with the government and come back. Y'all could never do that. I'm a living legend at the age of 24 years old. Oh my you god, hear me? yo. Look at the look at these 1.6 million. Shout out to Tory, shout out to Drake, shout out to Bad Bunny. Y'all niggas can never. Yo. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Look at this. 1.6 million. 1.6 million. The flex is real. We can't be bro. me and y'all not the same. Yo. King of wit. Why well, I keep hearing King of New York, King of New York? Y'all not the Kings of New York. Look at the numbers. Oh, well, he winning right now, yo. Yo, how y'all let that kid rat, right? How y'all let him rat and come home to beat? Still get more numbers than us. Break yeah. all the records. Why y'all let... Y'all can't stand it or something? Y'all can't stand it. Y'all can't... Listen. Even though people don't want to admit it, he making some sense here. He, he's making a little bit of sense only because I know there are some people that I actually seen it on my Facebook feed. Like people are like upset at the fact that he he's gaining all this attention 
and you know saying all these numbers and views and all this other stuff and all this love because there's a lot of a lot of people actually mess with six nine like a lot of people surprisingly (laughs) mess with six nine even after this whole snitching situation and there are some people that are just not feeling it bro they they're like how like what's going on society is done as it is (laughs) you live your you live your whole life right you live your whole life trying to be a real nigga and 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 this is me this is real danny shit fuck six nine right this is some daniel hernandez shit you live your whole life trying to be a real nigga, trying to be a stand-up, tall, loyal guy. To try to shit on a kid like me, to be like, yo, fuck that, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat. To be like, yo, he ratted. To then a rat, a rat like me, to come home and still do more numbers than you, I would be mad too. Once again, I can see how people would be mad. Mad too. If a rat came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad too. I would. I, I promise you I would be mad. If a rap came home to, like, the way I came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad. I, you have every reason to be mad. Every reason. Because no matter how much dirt y'all throw on my name, no matter... And I've seen everything. Everybody want to be quiet now. For two years, y'all made fun of me. Y'all done made memes of me. Y'all done <laughs> threw my true. name in the dirt. Yo, rat, bitch, fucking... Thrrr. Y'all didn't go with through what I went through. And I still came home and I'm a legend at the age of 24 years old because I came home and a rat is doing more numbers than you. I would be mad too. Now, when he said, y'all ain't go what I went through, here's the thing about that. I can't really give him sympathy on that only because he put himself in the situation. He associated himself with uh, Treyway, you feel me? And it was one of those situations where they kind of was using each other. They were going to protect him and he was going to kind of use that, that, you know, the gang lifestyle image you feel me and they were going to just feed off each other on that on that situation the only thing that kind of sucked is when he was trying to separate himself from him that's when things went left and boys was trying to you know you know pretty much kill him i get why you know he would kind of want some sympathy on that part but if we're gonna just look at it as a whole he put himself in that situation because he chose to hang out with those individuals and when they was doing him wrong and he wanted to kind of move away from them, that's when the situations and the issues started coming into play. So it's like you started rolling with some dogs, but when them dogs start biking you back, when you're not feeding them or they feel some type of way, it's like how can you gain sympathy when you put yourself in that situation? You feel me? So. I would. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. A real nigga wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I would go home sleeping like, why is this kid doing better than me? I wouldn't be able to sleep. I don't blame you, nigga. I don't blame you. I would be mad too. I would be mad. If if a nigga ratted and I spent my whole life trying to be a real nigga, I'd be mad too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least he understands, even though he's kind of twisting it, to fit his narrative he understands the snitching code just it isn't cool you feel me he he gets it he understands that you know what i'm saying if anything he's probably embracing it at this point he knew whenever he was going to get out that he was going to have to go on this stand like hey i snitched it is what it is but my numbers though so does it really matter sorry like i'm I'm genuinely sorry and for and, and another thing i want to address for the king of new york shit Let's cut that out. Little boy, sit down. If you don't got this watch, I'm not beefing with anybody from New York if you don't got this watch. If you don't got this watch right here, you a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. Sit down. King's home. It's over. Bro, he's it's such over. a troll. Y'all got, and I get it. If you got one Richard Millie, nigga, this is all mine. Nigga, no, I'm fronting. I'm fucking, get what, whatever y'all rappers do, nigga, it's mine, nigga. Bro, flexing all four is, cars, Lambo. He, mm, uh, uh, flexing nigga, real strong. Bro, Rafe, McLaren, G-Wagon. You name it, nigga. Old mine, old boy. Y'all can't fuck with me. Y'all can't compete with me. And I'm going to let y'all niggas know that. But I'm sorry. And, and now let me break it down. I'm sorry. I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because, you know. And this is kind of what I was saying about earlier when Meek Mill was like, oh, you need to apologize. He's apologizing, but he ain't apologizing for the snitching, though. <laughs> what? It wasn't worth it. It wasn't. 
And I'm going to tell you what. If there is a street code, right? If there is a street code and there's something so, so called as loyalty and everything and no snitching and all of that, I get it, right? But where was the loyalty when you were sleeping with my baby mother? Where was the loyalty when you was caught on the wiretap trying to kill me? Where was the loyalty when you tried to kidnap my mother? Where was the loyalty when you were stealing millions of dollars from me? Where was that? So who broke it first? All right, I get it. Don't fight fire or fire. I'm sorry. But what did I do wrong? Now, like I was just saying, how everything was good. And then once he started finding out some stuff and he started finding out they was taking money from him because he wasn't really getting the money he was supposed to be getting once they started finding that out um at that point things started switching and he wanted to you know move differently you feel me and here's the thing that i don't think he understands him trolling and basically using treyway as the the force field around him to continue to trolling which boosted his, you know, pretty much it boosted his sales. His antics online boosted his music career. What he fails to understand is he chose to go that route. And when they switched up, now it's like, all right, well, they doing me dirty. So fuck all these motherfuckers. I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, just tell on everybody. I'm about to save myself. And I get it. We understand. Hey, there's no loyalty among thieves. I get that. Cool. But once again... This is, these are the same thieves that you was having, you know what I'm saying, that you was putting hits out on people with. He put a hit out on Chief Keith. You feel me? These are the same people you was having, you know what I'm saying, if anything went down, they was going to roll. You feel me? They had your back because you was the money cow. They wasn't going to let nothing happen to you unless it was by their hands. So I understand it. But once again, I think he's not realizing he put himself in that situation. No one told him he had to hook up with Treyway. No one told him to get on the the troll troll parade, be the leader of the troll parade and start trolling people in different cities. Like no one told him to do stuff like that. Cause at that point he had to have protection because all the enemies he was making. No one told him to do that. Now I get it, he was getting hate because of his hairstyle and, you know, the tattoos and all this other stuff. That's cool. And you know what I'm saying? He he spun it the best way he could. But once he started getting involved in the gang life, bruh, it's like it's really two ways out. Really. It's either jail or death. It's not too many individuals that's getting out. And if they get out, they cooperating. Hence was really three ways out. Jail, death, and snitching. And most people don't want to be snitches or labeled as snitches because that comes with a negative connotation. So it's like he's trying to justify the means, but at the end of the day, he put himself in that situation from the jump. So Be loyal to niggas that's fucking my baby moms. Be loyal to niggas that kidnap me, beat the shit out of me on video and everything. I'm supposed to be loyal to that? No, you know what? You know what it is? Y'all don't want to accept the fact that those are all true facts. Y'all don't want to accept. Y'all understand why I snitch. Y'all understand. Y'all don't want to understand. It's not that y'all don't understand. Y'all don't want to understand. Y'all don't want to understand that. Damn, this kid really was a, a he he moved their families out of poverty. He he paid for school for for for, for all of the members, whatever. But he snitched on them. Why? Were they loyal to me? Cause I when when I met when I met son he was sleeping on the rug I I I give him money yo look listen I'm a rainbow Mexican hair kid I rap I'm not about that gang shit but listen I know how to get us out you wasn't loyal to me whether whether but y'all understand let's let let y'all understand and I know you understand y'all when he brings up that point it don't matter all the good that he was doing outside and feeding people it don't matter all that matters was the antics that was being seen online that's the only thing that matters now when it comes to you know what i'm saying putting food in somebody well i'm well, not putting food but yeah, you know, basically putting food on somebody's plate you feel me once again the dog analogy you can keep feeding the dog but once you the dog start to realize you're not feeding them you know what i'm saying it's gonna be like yo what's up where's my food at where's the kibbles and bits my guy if i don't get these kibbles and bits you know what i'm saying me and the other dogs we, we may have to eat you up and that's pretty much what the situation was, man. Like, I don't think he understands. I think he's still, he's he's sticking to he what he did was right. 
and that's it. And it worked for him in the end because he's not in jail. He's not spending the rest of the life in jail. But at the end, I don't think he gets that his trolling and his antics is ultimately what led to his downfall because he got in with the wrong crowd. And when you get in with the wrong crowd, it's hard for you to get out. You feel me? It's hard for you to get out without your image being, you know, tarnished or, you know, losing your life. You know what I'm saying? Either by jails or death. Not jails, but losing your life by either going to prison or ending up being killed. You feel me? Or putting your family in danger. So it's like he's still just going off of, hey, they did me wrong, so I snitched on them. But to be honest with you, and I, I have a theory about this, if they didn't do him wrong and they held him down, the FBI was coming for him regardless. They was looking at him. They was looking at that group for a minute. They was looking at Trey Way for a minute. But they was coming for them regardless. If they held him down, they didn't do anything that they said, you know, like none of the, if they like violate him, beat him up, try to, you know, kidnap him, try to kill him. They ain't do none of that, steal his money. Any other things that he said, I'm still willing to bet he would have snitched. Uh, it's facts. If they have all the information on you, even if they didn't do you dirty, I think he still would have snitched. And then what would be his excuse then? His excuse would be like, man, shit, I got to live my life. You know what I'm saying? I, I, shit, I got a family to provide for. Shit, I ain't trying to go to jail. I think that's what people are not, you know, mentioning. If things would have went differently and they didn't do all the things they did to him and they quote unquote held him down, he still would have snitched. I don't want to understand. All right, let me tell you, before I got locked up, right, before I got locked up, Fuck that rainbow hair nigga. Fuck, fuck Takashi Snap. Fuck him. Fuck that rainbow hair kid. Fuck him. It's fuck that facts. rainbow hair kid. Y'all didn't really have a reason to dislike me just because I screamed in raps and I got rainbow hair. That He's missing the whole thing. Even though people were not liking him because of his hair and, you know, the way he rapped. And that's cool. That's always going to be like that. People really stopped liking him because of his trolling. So That was your reason, right? Or he's mad loud blah, blah, blah. that was your reason but then now y'all got a reason so of course the go-to is oh he snitched he's a rat he's a rat so that's y'all go-to which i understand and i don't blame y'all i can't blame you listen i'm sorry i'm sorry to my fans because they don't deserve that my 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 family my mother my family don't deserve that and i'm sorry but y'all not going to break me down like if I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched. I ratted. But who was I supposed to be loyal to? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world and you fucking my baby mom. And while I'm out on tour making money for all of us, you back at home sleep with my baby mom. Then I get kidnapped. Then you try to kill me. If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, what makes you think if I would have held it down, you wouldn't violate me in the prison? Stab me up. Poke me up in my neck. Once again, it's the people you hang around with, bro. You hanging around with dogs. I don't know what to say. What? I'm not going to lose my life over, over, over no hater, over no, yo, you did the wrong. Nah, y'all understand it. Y'all don't want to understand it. Y'all don't want to understand it. But anyway, look, I'm going to put it like this, right? I love you guys. Thank you for helping me come back as strong as possible. I want to shout out... Um, my lawyer, Lance Lazaro. His lawyer held I him down. Longier, <laughs> His um, lawyer Warren. held him down. Uh, I want to say thank you to, you know, the, the, the judge for, you know, allowing me to come home to my family, to let me uh, celebrate a birthday out here with my family, you know. And I appreciate that. As much as you guys want to pay me out to be, a, uh, I appreciate every little thing and I didn't do nothing wrong. I would hope so yes, at this point. I didn't need all you of that. It. I didn't need that. Look, at, look we... we Everybody's sitting here with 2 million viewers, right? I didn't need that. I'm the biggest artist in the fucking world. The numbers, Menla. I wish he would have had that sentiment before he got with Trey Way. He just said he didn't need all the beef. But ultimately, the beef is what got you to this point of notoriety. Women La, numbers don't. Look at your viewers. Look up. Just look up. Troll, bro. Such a troll. <laughs> Numbers look, don't lie. Look, 
Look up. But listen, I, I want to get back. <laughs> but that was pretty much the end of the live right there. Um, I kind of want to get y'all opinion on this whole snitching situation. Me personally, like I said during the video, I don't think it's cool that he snitched. I understand why he did. I just wish he would take responsibility for the actions that he made and the decisions he made. Because no one forced him to hook up with uh treyway that whole situation no one forced him to be in that gang no one forced him to put hits out on individuals no one forced him to be a troll no one forced him to start shit with individuals or even just entertain people wanting to start shit with him no one forced him to do any of those antics he was doing when he was free before all this hit you before everything hit the fan no one forced him to do that he put himself out there and i wish he would at least said something to like take responsibility like yeah i'm a rat i'm a snitch it is what it is i had to do what i had to do but if there's anything i regret i regret putting myself in that situation to even have to even go to jail you know what i'm saying and it's one of those things where it's like a lot of people can say oh uh, you know what I'm saying I'm sure y'all would snitch too I'm sure a lot of individuals would snitch If it was facing 50 plus years Yeah But here's the thing If you feel that way Then you shouldn't be in the streets You shouldn't be moving around in the streets You shouldn't be associating yourself in the streets You shouldn't be saying, uh, claiming that you're from the streets If that's how you move when you know if something goes down If you're doing something illegal And you're a part of it Or you're egging it on Or you're initiating it Within whatever click you in And there's a good chance You could either get killed Or sent to jail By it You know what I'm saying Then you shouldn't be doing it If you feel like When everything is closing in And there's a chance for you To get off free Or have less time That you're gonna tell on everybody You shouldn't be in the streets simple as that it's not made for everybody so i want to get y'all opinion if y'all think it's cool to snitch or do y'all or y'all think it's not cool to snitch and or if y'all even care so let's start a discussion i appreciate all the love and support We're almost at 10k man channel growing channel is blowing but i appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace